video, I'm going to explain a model which we use to manage one of the components of working capital, which is cash. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my YouTube channel where you'll find videos covering syllabus areas of various professional certifications and academic qualifications. So before I start explaining the cash management model, let me give you a very basic example. You all know that uh, people keep money at home and some of them, what they do is, instead of keeping cash at home, they convert cash into maybe gold or some precious metals or maybe some securities. So our example is, what if you had surplus cash at home and you have converted that into gold? And then later on, if you need money, what you're going to do? You're going to sell the gold and convert it into cash. Now, keep this in mind that every time we sell gold, there is a transaction cost. There is time involved. So if I replicate this example in, uh, on a company, what companies do is they don't keep cash with them. They convert cash into marketable securities. For example, shares, bonds, any other uh, financial instruments. Because cash kept in the office does not multiply, it does not grow. So that's why what companies do, they convert it into marketable securities. And whenever they need cash, what they do is they sell the marketable securities, like shares, for example. But please keep in mind, every time you sell shares, you incur a transaction cost. So in today's discussion, what we are going to look at is, what is the appropriate amount of cash to be raised at once when we sell the marketable securities so that it is enough for our requirements so that we don't have to sell it every now and then and incur a transaction cost. The BOMOL model is inspired by the EOQ model, economic order quantity. But in economic order quantity, we are looking at the inventory amount. How much to order at once? If you're placing an order, how much uh, uh, raw material or inventory should be ordered? But here, the formula looks very similar to EOQ model. But here, what we're trying to find out is if all our money is invested into securities and if we need cash, how much of the securities should be converted into cash? So ladies and gentlemen, it is very important to understand how much of cash is to be raised at once. Because if the raised cash by means of selling the securities is less than required, then you have to sell the security again after some time and incur the transaction cost of converting securities into cash. If you uh, convert securities into cash and raise an amount which is too much, again, you have your opportunity cost of idle funds. So uh, if you look at this, here is a formula of BOMOL model. Q is equal to 2 into CS upon I, where Q is actually the amount of cash to be raised in one go, which should not be too much, which should not be too less. Other uh, information here is... Uh, Interest is the cost of holding cash or cash equivalents. Cost C is the cost for sale of security. That is a transaction cost which you incur every time you, you know, convert securities into cash. We also have S which is the cash requirement in a particular period. Let's say annual amount. I've assumed here that cost of obtaining new funds is 2000 that is the transaction cost every time you convert securities into cash you have to incur let's say two thousand dollars your annual demand of cash is six thousand interest earned on securities as i said cash we are not holding cash we have converted them to securities marketable securities and they earn an interest of four percent if you want to borrow cash from the bank, let's say cost of obtaining new fund is 6%. So now if you look at cost of borrowing new fund is 6%, uh, interest earned on existing security is 4 So if we net it off, the cost of obtaining new funds is just 2%. So the question is how much cash should be raised at once given this information? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just plugging in the available information into the formula. The formula is uh, Q is equal to 2 into CS over I. So if I plug in the numbers, 2 is by default in the formula. Cost of uh, obtaining new funds is 2000. Annual demand for cash is 6000. 
divide by i which is obviously 2%. You net it off. 2% is 0 0.02. If I do this, my answer is coming to 34,641. Now what does this mean? This means at given point of time, if I want to convert securities into cash, gold ornaments into cash, precious metals into cash, so this is the most appropriate amount I should be converting my precious metals or securities into cash at once, which is $34,641. This is the amount of cash should be converted from securities or precious metals to cash. Now this further, if I divide 34,641 by the annual requirement, which is 6,000, 34,641 divided by 6,000 gives me 5.77 years. What does this mean? This means once I raise this much cash, it is enough for around 5.7 years. In between, I don't need to convert my securities into cash. Why? Because the more frequent I convert my securities into cash, I incur additional cost. Now, given all this information, uh, this is the most appropriate amount to convert and this is enough for 5.77 years. Now, you can apply it on your business. What are your uh, important details? What is the cost of obtaining new fund? What is the annual demand? What is the interest on, on securities? What is the interest on interest you have to pay on getting new loans? All these can be easily found in a company, in a life company, operating company. So what you can do is collect the data from your company, plug them into the formula, and then you will get to know what is the most appropriate amount of cash your security should be converted in, in a given point of time, which is 34,641, which is enough for another 5.7 years. BOMOL model has certain limitations like any other model like if you look at prediction is kind of difficult how much cash we would be needing in a year's time it's kind of difficult what you can do it to predict cash is you look at the historic figures over the years what has been your cash requirements annual cash requirements likewise the other one is you know this BOMOL model does not consider a buffer amount of cash for emergency use how much cash to keep if there is an emergency? Here it says only this much should be 5.77 years. After 5.77 years, you have to raise more cash. But in between, what if the cash which you have raised uh, is not enough? So there is no buffer uh, cash. The other uh, issue with BOMOL model is that cost of holding fund may change. You know, uh, many banks, they have uh, fixed rates of interest or floating rate of interest. So uh, these are some of the assumptions. What we have is that the cost of holding funds is not changing. Cost of obtaining new fund is not changing. If all these things are kept constant, then BOMOL model works very well. Soon in my next video, I'll be discussing another cash management model, which sort of overcomes the uh, limitations of BOMOL model. Guys, if you have any queries relating to BOMOL models and its application, please leave a comment in the comment section. If you have not yet joined my group, uh, closed group for professional studies, uh, the link is in the description. Join now and you'll get to know the host of rewards which are waiting for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, press the bell icon so that you get my videos on a timely basis. And please share this video with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time.